So it really started with student interest um, and when we delved deeper into what would appeal to our students, it was more about uh, the ins and outs behind a sports franchise and we wanted to really focus on FC Cincinnati. The, the students really just realized sports and we love sports, we play sports, but to really yeah. tell the kids like it's really not just about sports, there's the business side to sports. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's a whole world of, right? It's not just the soccer players. Like, how do we even start, right? And so, so sports economy. If economics is the way, the way we allocate resources or make decisions for everything, then sports economics is how do we allocate resources or make decisions in a sports context. Do it differently with that season ten. When we launched the team, we talked about there's going to be three pillars through which every decision that we make is how is it consistent with these three pillars? Does that help us be a winning team? Is that something that winning teams should do? Number two, is that a, is that consistent with being a family friendly club? Family friendly. Number three, we're going to be a franchise that is visible and committed. To the community side allows the team to section off that community fund and run on its own for a non-not-for-profit, not-for-profit um, side of the organization. focused on revenue today, right? And how sports teams make money, essentially, the business side, specifically two different areas. So there's several different ways that teams make money. Um, you tell me, what, what do you think? How do how sports teams make money? And you guys are utilizing your smartphones and um, different programming now, whether it's Hulu, um, Slate TV, all of those types of platforms are where sponsors are looking to engage with the schools. So we really look for people on the ticket sales side that are well connected, either in the community here in Cincinnati or on campus at the university that they went to. So all of our all of our ticket sales reps have some sort of that combination um, when they first come on to Cincinnati. But again, it's, a, it's showing a history of building relationships and solving problems. And economics. Economics also plays a huge part into when we talk about analytics and statistics. Analytics, how I like to think of it, is the mixture and blend of economics and statistics. So this all, this all starts in very, very small and then it became very big pretty quickly and obviously culminated two days ago you know, achieving our dream of, of getting into to major league soccer. Um, I'd say it's definitely increased my interest. Um, you know, I usually go to sports games and I kind of go there for the entertainment, the, the fun, and I think of it, you know, as, uh, as a sports game, really. I don't think of it as a business and um, these, these lectures, they have they've really kind of shifted my thinking about it um, and how, how sports can be used to create a profit um, or even give back to the community. So that's... I really didn't know how many opportunities there were in sports. And I knew that there was business in sports, but I didn't know how in-depth the business actually went into sports and that sports are more business than they actually are sports. So now... Yeah, I think it's increased my interest because now I know that there's a lot more opportunities too. That they understood that our students you know, they're high schoolers, that this was kind of a dipping the toes to mm -hmm. figure out. And so they really knew how to then condense and really they knew how to, you know, teach to the population that right. we had. And I think that 
was tremendous. Totally. Yeah. The professors were phenomenal. Right. I mean, they came in. I mean, talking about making economics fun and exciting. Yes. Was, right. You know, I, I think this is going to be an event that our students will always remember. Mm -hmm. And I would highly suggest, you know, doing a version of this, you know, whatever a school can accommodate. Um, it, it, it was a very positive experience all the way around. Mm -hmm.